sports Tai Chi training with Ty. He's over here. It's going to be great. <laughs> I learned some, um, some interesting new moves yesterday, uh, two days ago. So we're going to be experimenting with some of those and um, also really focusing on ward off uh, and making ward off a, uh, like a catapult uh, and strategically with footwork and timing to be able to launch people out of the ring. Uh, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, here we go. Okay. Let's actually. Oh, me? No, oh, thank you. This has been happening all day. This must be, something must be going on. Yeah. I just put these pants on for a time after a while. Yeah. Uh, inhale, three finger rings in your belly button. At any time, you really do. It's just muscle in your belly button. You know, I'm, I've started my competition training as a Friday. So, uh, you know, a lot of this is going to shut off. Even when this is shut off, my belly it still pops out because the yeah, yeah, I've been at the police this entire area for years. I've been trying to flexibility. So you want to see inhale, the belly expand as you visualize the cargo. So you inhale, use the base diaphragm as the Exhale, push it down. Push the collar up. Now you have to keep it off. So, it looks pretty good. It's just intentionally going to happen over time, not closed on the same way around. Again, it's the belly, see the color down. Exhale, push the color down, the arms are relaxed. Arms are relaxed, straight down, palms are flat. Special attention on the middle finger of each hand, which connects to the heart rate. The heart rate is on the inhale of the Exhale, push the color through the palms about an inch or two long the arm. We're using this color to have a unique look of intention. Exhale down, the eyes are open. Now when you exhale, this is called the big pillar of the stance. And you start to go to the inner pillar, which is going all the way down to the inner pillar. Exhale, down, the other one, so down. Now you're starting to start. Exhale, down, the other one, so down. Exhale, down, the other one, so down. And again, this imaginary strength is the counter Hold on, Dad. And if you find any given moment that it's hard, challenging to relax any, any area of your body, challenging to work now, you can know, just think like that one for a In my work, it doesn't work. You're able to inhale, I suggest, to make your way to achieve the relaxation. I suggest inhaling into the belly, see the color gathered, and then exhaling into this area, the lower back, hip area, pelvic area, and exhale. Letting, having the tension melting of all the muscles in the belly. Exhaling down, the muscles just melt, the tension melts over. So it's almost like a constant breathing into the stretch, except in using the uh, visualization to guide. Intention <clears throat> of relaxation, specifically on the mouth. Because relaxation can be like much. Heels the palms to the ceiling. Stretch it out the hips, one, two, three. Try to keep them away from the beginning. And even when I first do it in the morning, I have to remind myself that the weight goes off the inside of the body. Yeah, the ball is a bit It just shifts more. It's easy here for it to shift and rotate out and watch it stay. It's going to be especially helpful when, uh, when maintaining space if you're about to get pushed out of the ring. 
regards to the idea <laughs> so there's just a lot of exercise that will be specific to that actually. And you really scan the bottom of the bar Scan. If you get any attention, then you will relax, let the organs hang <coughs> naturally. We're all going to be organs that just hang naturally. And if you feel any attention, then you wind yourself right, right here in my intestine, right? In my bottom of the intestine, so like that. Push the collar wherever you feel attention, wherever you want to see the crack. Exhalation is just as long as inhalation. This formula is really expensive. So then rather than cut here, we just this is the hyper focusing on the wrist right the And then we can have some And then we have See this, or you've never seen people about steps. Mm -hmm. The difference between this and other uh, methods of doing this exercise is cap exercise, not uh, the attention of the transition. So that's really what, what is the secret sauce to pretty much everything we're doing. Um, you know, a lot of what we're doing is not Tai Chi, it's simply martial art. You know, um, there are certain ideas that are unique to Tai Chi, just like every system. Many systems have certain a handful of very things. But in general, they're all the same. But for us, diving deeper, um, I didn't say that one of the great things that one of my teammates said when we were training for Ishi down in Boshi Judo, um, <coughs> that you know, we would give his, his uh, black belt in front. And you know, people would get upset, especially if I'm wearing a black belt in front of the front. Um, and I wish we just laugh, ah, it's just black belt and the other But the, 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 it's not sitting that. Um, our style would have, our technique is in the execution, within the execution of their technique. So they're looking to go from point A to point B. You ever see the, uh, the South Park after 300 episode? You watch matches. That right now, it's like, it's it. Anyway, um, 
So our technique would have the evolution of their technique. So they're going from here to this row, right? And our technique, rather than seeing that technique, is from there here, we're moving it and cranking. And so it's just slight adjustments in our body mechanics that put the other person off balance, but the intention is to put them off balance. Um, so that, that's a whole other conversation. Inhaling, deep into the belly, exhale, pushing down. The intention here, pushing the breath and color into the ground. When you inhale, it's like you have gum stuck on your heels. So then when you step and you see the gum pulling you up, um, pull, you know, pulling out, you want to inhale through that and let it pull you back into the breath. So, exhale, inhale. Exhale through the ground, inhale, pull yourself back. Exhale, pull yourself back. Exhale, pull yourself back. And really put the weight on the inside of the legs. So if you feel yourself turning out like that, turn yourself back to the inside of the legs. And rotate the pressure on the feet so it's supposed to have a three and balls. So this is going to save you at the edge of the leg when someone's blasting you out. And we have this on video a lot too for competitions. You can watch where someone just tries to rush us out of an inch away from the edge, and then suddenly it's just like, boom. You know, and it's, it's this visual mechanic manifested in the body. Exhale, push yourself into the ground. Inhale, draw yourself back. Exhale, push up. Inhale, breath pulls you in through the heel into the ground. Clamp back in. Exhale. And this is done in a fairly relaxed manner. Like the right now we're putting a lot of emphasis on the martial aspect of it, the sport aspect of it. But if you're doing this, this is actually part of the eight block game. And again, the value, the value of testing a lot of these exercises that many people do in Tai Chi uh, in sports is that you start to really develop a lexicon, uh, figure out, okay, well, this is, this is how this is beneficial under this type of pressure. And because of that, we make adjustments on that in the tradition of what we're doing. So here, you can likely just do just 10. And that might be it. I, you know, this would be part of the work age, the exercises, that pretty much almost every time she uh, you know, teacher teaches. Uh, but the massive advantage to the way that we're doing it now is the idea. The idea is that we're fine. And it's still under the body. Exhale, push it to the ground. Inhale, draw yourself back. Exhale, push it to the ground. Inhale, draw yourself back. And make sure the toes don't go on. So the toes actually stick to that too. You have three nails, one with a big toe, one a ball for the body. And those nails are pushing. Move into the ground. Exhale. Exhale. Is there a combination of how long it changes the visualization? Uh, it depends on what you're seeing. Uh, I, I would normally shift between seeing a large color. And that was very natural that I realized, that, oh yeah, this is the arm shot, but how cool. Um, or seeing like a purplish light kind of spark. As a matter of fact, if I keep my eyes closed and then go, which I don't do, I don't like this, uh, I would open my eyes and do it just that way. Purple and spark. Uh, for about a minute and a half, then I had a real issue with that sensation. Um, yeah, I was. I was just sitting there like, hmm, this is great. I can just do this all that thing when I'm a teenager and I'm like, oh man, it doesn't feel good at all. I'm like, there's something going on. <laughs> you know? So, mm -hmm. I, uh, you're supposed to keep your eyes open anyway, I just want to go on. So, for these exercises, yeah. Exhale, concentrate. Yeah. 
Spine is straight, seated, cover the head, and relax the arm. Now go the arm super relaxed, rather than right here, but relaxed. Cover the head, right. And this is slightly out, creating a curve right away. On the arm of the foot? Oh, I'm sorry, this is bent. And this is bent. Uh, mostly on the heel, actually. Between your split, splitting the pressure, it's mostly on the heel, but it's definitely on the ball and big toe. Also, this that you find me, everyone has uh, uh, many people, especially since you were training before, uh, you may have just other ways of gathering your focus. There's multiple ways to gather your focus. Uh, <clears throat> so, what I'm suggesting here, uh, is Using the color as a vehicle for sometimes I'll you know I, I'll be following this way rather than focusing on the color, I'm actually focusing on the imaginary string that is on top of the head. Or I might even lift my finger and point attention through my finger to reestablish my posture. That happens. So it's not there's multiple ways to do it. And uh, Tai Chi will the way that we're training we're yeah, whatever works for you, you can go with that. Mm -hmm. uh, the color coding system. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm talking to somebody, my attention is a little older than my thoughts are a little bit different. And if you want to sit, get higher. Kind of four hours of sitting, so it's only on the ground, burning a lot. <laughs> and then you pull, just like you do a super. Hold the shoulder, press the hip, and sweep. 
and it's strip one. So. Oh, uh, this one. So you're literally uh, you're doing this with a just a one more shoulder. It's like the other. Or the and we'll start doing that in a few weeks. I would like to be really good at sweeps. I'm just, you know. <laughs> oh. I think I can do the sweeps. Oh. Yeah, it was about a bunch of other crap. The best judo sweep I ever encountered was a black belt on this leg uh, at Oishi's. And put his, his foot up, blocked my shin up here. And as I tried to escape, there's no good reason. He just sat more and turned around. And his posture was great. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> I was like, wow, that was fairly impressive. This is like you know, the same space that. Throwing my black belt around, so I was like, then I just come back to the job and try so I was like, I just leave the kids in the Anyway, it was very impressive. And notice how I opened my hip and then I dropped. <clears throat> This is how you I 
to show you guys something. This is what I'm going to do for you guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys something. I'm going to show you guys something. I'm going to show you guys something. Matter of fact, you see these out of them? That one? Yeah. I didn't wash my hands because I don't think so. Cracks and stuff falls. I got one. Yeah, I don't expect this over here. Hold on there. Let me just wash off this. And from right here, it's almost like you're pushing my shoulder out here. Like right here, up, pull across, and then push on your arm. You bring this hand inside. Yeah, right here. Pull the arm around. And drag across your arm. Good, good, good. Drop it. And drag just for the position to actually get me to push me up. So, check this out. It's actually going to be a continuous drag. Push my arms. One, two, I'm going to push you in. Yep, right, up the drag. Yeah, and then push, push me forward. Right here. Here. I got one, two, Go right here. So, and then it's going to push. So the push you want to go for is literally right here. It's, but it's essentially, yeah. You like this position is very, very particular. You're going to have the grip. You're going to shoot. Your pressure through the shoulders over the hips, up to the point. So it's not forward to the shoulders, it's actually up and over. So, uh, you push them over the hips. So, yeah, I'm going to push up to the corner. So, I'm going to up root you over your hips. So, it's just like, come on. Um, and so, this is this is great. Like I said, I just want this this weekend and, you know. They were pushing over here on the arm because they don't have the sport mechanic of this. So now we're adding a sport mechanic, and this is a laboratory. So like we're going to keep on refining for this drill that we're doing today. Or something. So, and so in, in general, when we're playing push hands here, boom, this is a 50 50 clinch. Could be here or here. Here, yeah, controlling the elbow or controlling the body. And when you control the body, you still have this cut. And this cut can turn into a crack. So now you have two underlines. And now you have to, you're going for, and you don't have them yet, but you're, you can go for the forward. Just kidding. And you're going to run out of the push. You're just going to run out of the push. And there's a bunch of different things that can happen. What was the proposition? So, uh, but let's. For you two, I'm actually watching the videos. And people are not the 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 people are not
What did it mean? I'm not sweating at all. <laughs> it's not the way we train. <laughs> all right, so you're going to push it on my arm and you can grab it. And so, well, let's, let's actually get to it. So this is going to be a continuous drill. Just like, this is just like the one arm push out. This is just like this. But now we're adding a new drill. So now instead of just pressing here, you're going to press here. Press up. Push. Push. Break. Arm drag. One. Two. And then now you're actually going to, you're going to reverse it. Right? So we're going to train each other to take this moment and take this pressure. Just take that watch out. Yeah, but then you're going to cut up with your friends. Training partners. So I'm here, and you're going to split here. Split here. Now you have your arm drag. Wait, you have your arm drag. Draw. And now go right. And you put this slide here. Push. And you're going to. So I don't want to push here because now my hand's apart. So you can do the hand back. So you want to get the hand free. And as I'm doing that, you're going to split arm drag. Here you go. Get your hand free. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. If I have this, I'm going to pin the lock. I'm going to go for the front of So get the hand free. And Pin. So think about this is pinning and this is blasting. So blast on forward and up. Pin. Pin and blast. Yeah, break the pin. Okay, won't you guys? And one more final once again. This is all. New drill. Might be old to some of you. But we're putting the sport mechanic in. The sport mechanic is very different than, than just the general Tai Chi practice. The sport mechanic is very particular. And this is a laboratory. We're always figuring out how to add the sport mechanic to, to these techniques. And when I say sport mechanic, I specifically mean something that is repeatable. If it's not repeatable, it's not competition worthy. So if it's just going off of your general feeling, it's very tough to teach your general feeling to other people, but if you have a defined, if you define the lexicon, then it becomes the read. And it also works. Then you can make it repeatable and teach it. Then you have a technique. So this is an arm drag with very particular attention. It's, it's simply, it's a reposition. It's not meant to be a big drag. <clears throat> it's meant to be a, uh, to get you out of a tight line and blast up on that. So it's like a short burst. Beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. Now let's, 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 so let's refine the feet. Um, because <clears throat> most of the, honestly, just most of the Tai Chi drills I've done, there are two that are uh, push hand drills like this that are based on set choreography. Uh, there's, there's a massive uh, learning curve on what and why. <clears throat> um, why are you shifting the weight? So here it seems like this is. There might be a benefit to stay on the front line. It's looking like that for you guys. So I think it was a good one. So let's switch legs. Right on the, 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 the wrist. 
So the drag can actually be that drag. So it's still the same drag. If you're splitting, you're pushing it here. So the minor end is here. Oh. Yep, exactly. Really? Yeah. Really? And so you want to feel the connection. You want to use this as a handle. Literally. You don't need to grab too hard, but you want to manipulate as much as possible. Yeah. You want to be able to manipulate this You want to be able as much as possible. So. Yeah, really feel the handle. Yeah, think about watching through the cup. Oh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, so I figure out how. So it seems like there is some value going to the back way. Nice. So, just as a note, again, this is all stuff that we're that I'm doing now and making these adjustments, and we'll figure out how they can go. I'm I'm personally liking um, doing the drag and dropping into the back row. Because when you do that again, you really get the guy to come down, and you're also loading up for the next um, And more than likely, and this is actually going to go on the ward off side of the bit, uh, more than likely, when you pull someone down, they're going to want to pull back. So the second they pull back, when you, load, you have this hand already loaded, they're going to boom. Yeah. But remember, you let go, you switch that, you get the grip here, and switch that to the Depending on the blast that they can set. So, oh. and, yeah, remember we're also helping each other to really get into these positions. So you want to push each other to the point where it feels like they're going to pop through, and then kind of let off, let off a little bit. And not so much, uh, not so much let up because you know we're being nice and letting up because you want to have you want to feel really feel your precision as you're pushing through and feel uh, their level of uh, how much they take. And you, as you're going back, that's once you can't take any more sitting in front leg. You can't be on the front and drop. Because that's going to be you immediately taking space away from the strategic standpoint. So you don't want to just go back. You want to go back when it's gone, strategically. So if you're pushing it here, hold space, hold space, hold space. Great. Oh, down. Up, down. <coughs> so yeah, it's slow down. Hold space, hold space in front of it. Hold space, drop, keep going. Right. 
give up the space, only give up the space when, when we feel good. So, get this on here. I actually want to move the pin this on. Right. Get this head on the side. So, I'm going to split. Yeah, try to make the split look good on it. Try to make the split as small as possible because it's very rare that someone's going to allow them to actually move their arm out. Uh, that, was, that was my first big note of this drill when I, I, I was taught on Sunday. I was like, oh, they're doing this as if that's realistic. That never happens. Like, no one ever lets you. Unless they don't know what's happening out here uh, when you're playing. Um, it's very rare someone's going to let you. Very rare for playing around so much unless you're just trying to move the arm. Especially if you're involved with grappling. It's very rare for you unless you move the arm out. Because they know that that's a setup or something. So you're not going to really have a lot of space. You're going to have, yeah, yeah, it's going to be so tight. If you get a drag, it's going to be like that. It's going to be a super tight, small drag. So you want to make sure that when we do these, that rather than it being this big, beautiful movement, that it's small, that the beauty is in the small circle. And the, the smaller the circle, the tighter, more powerful the center of the force. So, switch like that. Okay. While you guys do that, I'm going to set up the mats. Yeah, this is really tough to do an auto drag card. So I would. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you're actually supposed to be dragging this up. I think we we're aiming for the bottom arm. Yeah, you were going for the, the bar arm. Was that? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to drag this up. Oh, but I did. So what happened was. So I did that, and I. <laughs> can you get to this and this way you are the ones? Well, most of your feet, your mind. Just, just keep going with that. Yeah, I mean, be really conscious, right. conscious of where you're. So, let's make it the same. I was here. He made Okay, but you just shifted your, your weight massively. Okay. Let's Just, we're going to keep on working on this one. Laboratory. That's interesting. Sorry. That was something else. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So let's do a full length. Let's just really wrap the circle for a second. So ward off, because we need to get really good at like a handful. That's a lot. 
So what we want is essentially, we need to put an arm drag. Second, the person comes forward, they want to come up. When they come up, you have this position. Ward off the patch and you see this position? Then pull a beach ball. Uh, it's a classical position. But essentially, you have this position, and you inhale, and you step, and you launch the person. Launch the person, it, you know, you have to really time it. Uh, the intention is to launch them. So it's time to get to footwork. Uh, you pull them down. When they go up, you step and you push. So, pull down and up. And you're filling up. Uh, I, you can exhale or inhale. If you exhale, I recommend the intention of falling asleep into them. Exhale. Hmm? Or exhale. Hmm? Sleeping at exhale. Exhale? Exhale or inhale. Uh, on exhalation, uh, I recommend falling asleep, controlling. So just like what we're doing here, we're doing this, you're exhaling. You're actually controlling the relaxation of what we do to exhale. So it, it's a push, but it's not really a push, it's a drop. Um, if you're doing an inhalation, I recommend inflating the arm and going up. So if you drop down, it's an inhale up. Um, and create this structure to inflate the tricep. Ooh, like that. So either way, and there are other ways to do it as well. Those are the two that I find work the best in my experience. Um, so let's work that on each other. And let's go, I'll go five times one arm with you, five times one arm with you, and then you guys do it on each other. I will cycle. So, uh, so I'll wait for you to pull back. So, and yeah, really watch, watch your face in general from the strategic position of getting your head too far down. Because uh, there's, there's, there's no value for you unless you're going for a technique. And if you're going for a technique, your posture will be different. Your technique likely won't be here, you'll likely be here if you're going for a delayed technique. Because uh, my elbow just touched your head, and that's why you need to come up by accident. So, down. So yeah, let's let's focus on going up first. We'll, we'll do the upper. Down. So once you go to again, right leg, right leg forward. Push your legs right leg forward. Go to him because left leg. That's right. Oh, right. Yeah. So you're going to drag the arm down, drag it down. Yeah. And this is out. And we'll hang on this way, we'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> and inhale, fill up the rib cage, fill the space. So Arthur, the big part of this is, is your re-posturing. You're not trying to go back, you're just re-posturing up. So if it pulls you down, you re-posture up. All the re-posture, you can do the push. Good stuff, so you're creating a shield, exactly. Mm. Good stuff. How's it feel? One more. Good stuff, good stuff. On your turn. Actually, I'm going to drink it. Sorry. Andre? Yep. Okay, use both this one because in this technique in particular, notice that this is totally while you're in position. So you're going from here to here, this space. So it's a, it's a, yeah. So you're dropping down, go oh, make that connection. The second you feel any re posture, that's what you need to play with the last of that. So I go here once, just feel it here. Just right here. Uh, I don't that much. So, yeah, that's, yeah. what I'm saying is maintain the level. 
So the second you do this, you're, you're getting to a pushing uh, game. And this is not, a, not as much of a push as it is an inflation. Think of it as an inflation app. Yep. Like a shield. Oh, yeah. Nice stuff. That was a great load. That was a great load. Got, the timing was off on the, on the push. The load was fantastic. Good stuff! This load is great, dude. Great load, all right. <laughs> so th and think about when you get the uh, think of, <clears throat> we're gonna yeah, do this first and then start focusing on the handle things. Yeah. Before we keep going, we're gonna switch. I want to show you guys one of the top team uh here's a dude from the top team. The top team is He doesn't do it with like beautiful. His uh his coaches do it really well, but that's actually the thing. So we launch the drag here. Drag launch. Drag coach boom, it just happened literally like that. Super fast. So uh let's switch let's switch like that. So about 70% of your weight in here. So the wall you're doing is you're actually in your plane right now. So it's not just drilling, it's not just standing there being a dummy. It's uh, you want to be fully uh, present for your own posture. So get your drawing fist hip into this floor, pull out here, so now we're here, pull out the line. Okay, 70% of So now you're double weighted. So you want more relax that way. Okay, so it makes it more challenging. We want to want to get this. <gasps> yeah, okay, so you do it to you. Okay. You have it, right? Same hand, same hand, uh, the forward hand to the big high hand. And forward hand. Yep, exactly. So this is going to be dragging the tricep. This is going to be this. Um, this is going to be one of the rare times that the wrist is going to hold because that's going to pin him so that you can make this transition from the tricep to the <laughs> So, 
keep your palm facing in. It's going to work a different muscle. Ah, there you go. Ah. Yeah, your target area is And if you slide up, it's fine. But target on the right side. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you feel the difference in the mechanic? It's going to require you to lift up your tricep a little bit. So, all right, so you go to me. So now let's, let's, we're doing an inhalation up, let's do an exhalation over the same time. Let's see how that feels. Because we want to really find out what works best for us. Um, Do you feel a longer launch with this one versus the other one? Oh, wait, you lost track. Oh, yeah. Because the move only works if the guy right. sits that back. Otherwise, you have to fight it. I didn't do it. That feels great. That feels great. When we get timing and angle on this, this is going to be pretty, uh, it's going to be pretty sick. I'll get a switch light. Thank you. 
Okay. The better that one? Uh, that's why I made a shift. Uh, can I have one? I wasn't going in the direction I wanted to be When you're doing this, it actually distributes the weight in the ground the shoulders. So you can actually bear a lot of weight here. At this angle, you can't bear the same weight. So when you have this, you have this whole circuit going around the shoulders if you want, or then try to feel on that circuit, supported by that circuit. Sure. <laughs> Next one will shoot you uh, when you get me down, when you pull, side step. Just try it. So step on the ground that way. Uh, what I'm saying is, uh, step here, step, step on the ground. Set on the line of my hands. Strike. Long with the back one. Set the back one. Good. Now watch. Interesting. Do you want to go? Eventually, just launch me over my hands. Just a slight adjustment. <laughs> Just that? Interesting. Um, what would you guys like to do? Would you like to drill that with the set, side set? You want to drill that with the side set? Yeah. 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 Can you say that the so just think about where we might get some. You see my, if you see some of the steps here, just think about setting on the line. That's it. That's it. That's the launch. That's the launch. That's the angle. We're doing. Yeah. That's that's the um, that's the. Oh, nice. <laughs> so no, I'm just, I, I can feel it though. I can feel it because I've watched the the videos over and over. I've been trying to break this into the, the world champ taught me this move, and I was like. 
He did, he did so well, but they also do on Twitter and how bad you are. So, like, we have, we don't have those Twitter and how bad you are. Um, it's just like a top one here. Yeah, it's easier to just step back, pull you away. It's also pull you back away from what you want. Well, it's also the blast over the hips where they can't step. So, when you're blasting here, oh, yeah, like a lot of times people fall over at that hip. The, the closest hit to the move is to the execution. That's what just happened. Let's actually watch that for a second. Let's break this down. So we're breaking down movements from our buddy Tweet Show Chat. Great guy, I should follow. That's Tweet Show. Tweet Show. Tweet Show. Tweet Show. Let's watch the next Yeah, he stepped to the he stepped to the uh, he steps to his right. Boom, he steps to the right. Yeah, he keeps going. The momentum keeps bringing him to the right. Steps to the right. So you're totally right. He actually steps as he presses. And Twisha does that. He steps as he presses rather than on the drive. Boom. Yeah, he does it. One, two. One, two. Yeah. So he pulled, step, push, push. Bring the wall, bring push. Let's play some moving step. How does that sound? Let's, let's try to integrate this into our. Moving steps, see how we feel. And uh, turn on. Mouthpiece? Good mouthpiece? Cut. Good cut. This is great. Mouthpiece is a cut. I'm going to get my mouthpiece. I'll be right back. <laughs> and I'll turn on the I asked her um, at that ball, I didn't make it to the ball. You gotta, you gotta boil it and bite it. Oh, ah, cool. Where did you get yours? I don't know what my name is. I got a Marshall. Oh, no. Oh, I do. It's not this. It's right there. It's going to be great. Are you making your own teas? Is that, is that what's happening? This is uh, not my own tea. Did you add the Lucy? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Are you ready?
Season training has officially begun. It's November. Emotional practice. Sure. So, we did it slow, like you, like me, just waiting for it. 
Uh, what are the different th three scenarios in which mm -hmm. you would launch that particular move you want to make? So let's say I'm going for your shoulders. Uh -huh. How would you get into what we talked about? Sure. Mm -hmm. So let's put a point here. First off, you got this. Hold. Right here. 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 Right Yeah, I mean, essentially. A deep arm. Yeah, the significant moment. That's the video we just watched. I'll show you other ones. There are other ones where you don't even need to get the drag, where you might slap the shoulder. Like if you slap the shoulder, they react by moving the shoulder forward, and now you have the position where you drag. Okay, and you blast. Uh, Trisha was really good at that, and his little sister is amazing at that. Uh, so, what I showed you, you're flying here, again, this is the model we're talking about. Right here. You're here, sorry, okay? This is more earlier. Let's turn it out. I was just asking about live moments for this arm drag ward off move. So, one is essentially, Ty actually got this several times. You got this on like several times in the first round. Where you're here, and he's. So you have the, the arm drag like a jab. And essentially, it's the jab is for push hands. So his hand speed is a great example of you're playing, and boom, you just go right forward. You're playing, boom, go right forward. And the second you see this, boom, you're already doing it. Um, so it becomes like drawing the gun out of the holster. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah! Good stuff. Oh. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, you can also go for what you just did. Just, yeah, exactly. That's fantastic. Keep going, keep going. And this one, again, the big thing about this one is less about distance and more about knocking the person over. So that's why the angle and the timing is so important. Because it's less about getting them away and more about knocking them over the joint. So, and that's what happened in the video I showed you. Ah, cool. uh, so you make the guy fall. And, and you also get distance. So it's like two things. It's like, oh wow, I have this guy now. And again, in sport, that's all you need. But if it was a more martial scenario. Uh, when you're setting up your techniques. Oh, that was great. That was fantastic. Let's stretch it up. So, I think there's something to that. Like, we, we, we drill it real slow, just on the same thing. Mm -hmm. And then we drill it at like one more speed, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, what we just do is like half speed. Yeah, really yeah. full speed. Absolutely. We'll, we'll, we'll incorporate that more. The more we go to the repertoire, we just keep bringing and building that speed up. Exactly. Inhaling up, got the threat. Ooh. Sorry, so. Definitely want to go over today. Sorry, guys. It's going to take a little high level, but we're kind of exactly at that time. Speed travel. Not the first time we sound like that. Down the front of the belt. Most importantly, is being able to breathe with that belt and use it as a palm. You heard me screaming at the beginning, that's because Arthur cracked into my toe over here and I was in so much pain. Now it's going to stop. I'm like, no. I'm like, no. Huh? Yeah, your, your foot like kicked into my foot, specifically on the toe. It was like literally like 10 seconds after you touched the first round. We are all together. We are all Oh, 
both sides of the shoulders as an inhale with the heels over the hips. Right hand on the left knee, left hand open palm, step to lift the left palm. Right hand gently press the left knee down, feel this stretch in the knees, the hip, hip, rib cage, the ribs in the cage, on the shoulder. Exhale, shoulder up, and then up. Exhale, exhale, down, down. 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 Sorry, I'm trying to keep the leg out even more. Yeah, I'm trying to extend the heel more. The leg more. Yeah, feel the stretch. Turn the leg more. The other leg, yeah, right before the leg. Yeah. Feel the stretch. Turn the heel. Turn the head. 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 Bring back the center. Turn the head to the other side. Inhale, work. Extend the spine in two opposite directions. Take the arch. Exhale, set the foot away. All the way up. So we're going to go. And one leg. Ah! Ah! Hold on to the leg. And I'll leave. 
Press the four on the five, which would be parallel to the other four by the three, in our region. We should really be open to the pause. Also, the leaders will go back to the other side, in our region. If I really extend that one, straighten that back leg. Straight on the top of the head to a certain spot. Hold it up and hang it up. And drop that. And then I'm going to go back to the floor. And I'm going to go back to the floor. And I'm going to go back to the floor. And I'm going to go back to the floor. Press the air in the other shot. Press the air in the other shot. Turn down the other shot. Press the other shot. Turn down the other shot. Turn down the other shot. Should have one hand on the floating rib of the kidney, and then walk the hand down, down, down the elbow. As you walk down, it pulls out of the socket. The inhale and forward. This straight posture. This is one exercise we really want to make sure that the angle of the posture is as precise as you can. This is this takes time. This takes time. These stretches, especially the arms. Like I said, when I first did this one, we reached behind the back and grabbed the finger like this. I couldn't do this when I was in high school at all. It just took me so long to learn. You can keep on reaching. Once you get one finger to touch. Then you get two fingers to touch and then eventually you get all of them. So this is that all this stuff is going to take some time to get arms, but you want to keep at great posture while you're doing this stuff and really have the foundation of great posture. Walking it down. As you're walking down, you're literally dragging the arm gently out of the socket. Not really going to really out here. Opening up the And 
Which is sit on the ground. Oh, make sure your shoulders and hips are square. Turn. This is, see how, how forward you can get the elbow. Exhale, check. Go back. Roll. And right on the Going away with the feet. That's your deck to relax. And now we're going to catch your deck. And then you will relax. Spread the top of the spread the to the right. You're breathing along the natural magnetic lines, lines to your own body, and then you come from the Well, you guys go for it. That was amazing to watch you do. Your performance on this is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Good deal. Good deal. Funny to you, buddy. Yeah, see you. Oh, good deal. I think it's a good deal. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do this. We're going to keep working the reverse shot because, you know, you had a laser focus to actually execute the techniques in it. Um, and that in and of itself is a massive achievement. So I walk away last week. So I was playing when I had started. Oh, and then actually I started to get to the point of 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 and then you gather all your strength and all of your balance into the power and put your head on him. And when he goes to counter jack, you have to set balance and then make your adjust. Keep going. That would have been good. I didn't try it, but after I was on the ground, I was like, oh, no, no, no. So you should follow the YouTube channel. Uh, sports push in. Yeah. That, that's our part of the channel. And you watch last week, you will see all of our stuff. Yeah. And today, today. Uh, I'm actually really interested in watching the, the stuff over from YouTube yeah. because you were getting stuff that I, I think almost everybody else that's trained with us um, has found it difficult. We were, we were firing the rapid. So I was like, okay, wow, we need to like, you know, we all learn from each other. Like, you know, Arthur's got uh, a, uh, a, a tank kind of um, uh, approach, and he also has an engulfing, like an engulfing grab. So, like, you know, supposed to be the flash. It's <laughs> yeah, tank. but like you know, so you, you were firing the 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 uh, you're firing like the jab it's supposed to be, and you know, Anna's got amazing footwork. Uh, I'm not sure if you met. I haven't given yeah. Anna yet. Anna's got amazing footwork, and Rami's simply like tall, very yeah, relaxed, yeah, and running. and uh, mm-hmm. with very long arms. What's, what's his Instagram handle? So, the vegan beast or something? Vegan underscore beast. Vegan beast. If you don't follow us on Instagram, uh, there are like smaller highlights on there, and it's at push hands. Um, <laughs> yeah, and we'll see you soon.
next week. Uh, probably Saturday or something. It'd be great. That's Arthur. That's Ty. And we love you. You're about to go on a date right now? No, what did you say?